hi guys hello guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to make a timer for your videos you can use this for workout videos for any type of videos you want so we're going to be using canva and don't you worry you don't need a paid version i'm using a free version myself yes so click on canva and go to what do you want to create today and just say you want an instagram post a square okay you're going to see it in the drop down there so just select on that yeah mine is taking so much time and then you're going to click on a blank uh, canvas you just want to start with the blank slate okay now it's gonna open up this square here and the first thing you are going to do is change this color to green so right now it's white so you want to change it to green it's very important like super super important it's going to be like our green screen okay so just pick the green color right there and then you're going to go to quick actions the little icon at the bottom there I'm going to take my pointer to it this one is just what you use if you want something quick and you don't know whether it's element it's photos it's uploads it's whatever just go to that and say progress bar so it's going to pick the three options get the circle one the full one that is the one that looks closest to what we want and at the same time i'm also going to search for a circle now the circle is what we'll use to put the number in okay to add the text for the number so i'm just going to i typed in the wrong thing again i'm sorry let's try that again okay so then I just try to reduce the dimensions of the progress bar you want it to be just like a tiny you know a tiny progress bar circle at the top there and then go to elements and search for circle now circle is what we'll use to put the text uh, in like the number 10 9 8 7 like that okay so I reduce the circle and just try and make sure it fits perfectly into the progress ring so that not ring circle is it a ring still I don't know just try and make it look like one complete unit and at this point I can say we are doing really well it's starting to look similar to what we want and then you're going to change the colors this is where you play with your colors what you're working with you can choose any color you want just make sure that the color showing the completeness of the circle is not similar to the one that's showing where we are headed to I think that's that's basic knowledge right and then you also want to change the color of the circle and I picked white because remember we're going to add text and we want the text to show there okay so now I'm going to add the text and I'm going to say add subheading and then I'll write this 10 so I'm doing a 10 second timer mine will start at 10 so if you're doing 60 you start with 60 and then you make your way down okay so it does take a bit of time but generally this is the way I found to do it I couldn't find any other easier way to do it unless it was just pre-made for you so I like this one because I make it myself I choose my colors I choose my fonts that's the, the difference right so now I'm going to edit a bit of the progress bar and this is where you add the percentage so it goes all the way out we're gonna play with that later we don't need a percentage label in this and another thing I'm also going to change is I'm going to remove the round ends of the ring so it's more flat so you see the there's a difference between how it was and how it is and then this is just the thickness of the ring so you want it to look very close to the circle so that's why I'm leaving it at 20 
and then now we're going to start playing with the percentages well not really playing but like working them out so 10 seconds is a hundred so you really need to take some time to work with this because it's a bit tricky if it's 60 seconds it starts at 100 but the difference is what reduces so really make sure you check your excels i'll leave like a more detailed way of how to do it depending on the amount of time that you're picking okay so now you duplicate the the page and then now for nine seconds it's going to go to 90 percent as the progress ring so that is where it goes like tricky. So for 8 seconds, it's going to go to 80%. For 7 seconds, it's going to go to 70%. Because we're working with a 10-second timer. If you're doing more timers, uh, there's more like what the percentages you use. I'll do that for you. So now I'm just going to speed this. Just finish making all the 10 seconds. Okay, so now we are done. You can see that my zero is at zero percent because that is what I want. I want it to finish at zero. So here I said animate the zero effect. It's very important. We're going to see why. You just pick um, either. You want to pick something that's better than what I picked, but it's okay. That will open up this uh, small thing over here that says the time, which is what you want. Because you don't want it to be like 55 seconds. You want it to be like 1 second. Because remember it's going 1 second. It's it's 10 seconds, okay? You don't want it to be the entire time. So now Canva has auto-picked it to be 5 seconds per slide. And we don't want that. We want it to be 1 second. So this is where we change from 5 seconds. And we change it to now 1 second. This is very important. Make sure you say check so that it applies to all the slides. Now you have 10 seconds and then you're going to download this as an mp3 video. Okay, very important. mp3, not a png. It's not going to work. And then I'm going to show you how to apply it to your video. Okay, guys, so now I'm back here on Canva. I'm going to select the video you're working on which is this. I'm just going to click that and take it to the workbench. I think that's how you call it. I'm not sure. And then you select the video with the timer that we just picked. And you want to overlay it, okay? Very good. So now remember the green screen. We want to remove that. So you're going to go to cut out and just uh, check on chroma key select the pen and do you say you want to remove the green uh, thing so just go make sure all the green is gone you don't want that ugly green showing behind the clock that we just made and then i just trying to find a good place for it and it's genuinely it's genuinely that easy so i only also wanted it to be a complete like a uh, timer so you I added a bit of sound effects so I just said um, sound sound effects and I clicked on ding the ding sound it's very good for starting So this is the sound that signifies that the video is starting. It genuinely is so good. It works like a charm. And I also added the end sound, which is you can download it for free. I'll also leave a link for that. It's the one that goes with ting, 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 ting for finishing the last five seconds. So I'll leave a link for where you can get that for free as well. It's also very long. It has a variety of um, 
end in five seconds so I just picked the one that I like and crop it to what you need you don't need all the other part you just need the last five seconds well the first five seconds there for the five second thing I still I don't know what I'm saying at this point but you get the point right I hope so I hope so so drag that to match the timer that we made And that is how you just have your complete timer. So you have the ding effect at the start for 10 seconds and then it goes down like that all the way to the end. It's generally so cool. And I hope you guys loved it. I hope you guys learned something and see you next time.